G'day Worm Wranglers. Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden, your happy worm farmer. Look, I had a couple of questions from some people who watched the video about the giant worm farm and how they work and why you should possibly have one. Well, I probably didn't go deep enough in that video and I'm glad that I got some of these questions because I want to answer them because it looks as though a lot of you crew want to set these up in your gardens and I reckon they're the bomb and you really should have them. The future of worm farming, in my opinion, towards organic gardening is connecting these systems up to the garden. So something that I want to teach over time and get this message out to the world about recycling waste and turning it into something valuable. So we had two people write a similar question. So I'm just going to read out one of the questions and it'll answer that for both of them and also anyone else that's watching this because I'm sure you are very curious more about this system, right? So Jerome Garcia and Todd Hobbleson. Hopefully I got your names right, guys. Give us a big thumbs up if you're here and let me know that you've caught this video down below or anyone else that's getting value from it. So the question is, how do the barrels bins work? Are they open to the earth? So I'll answer that and a few more regarding because there are other questions but I just want to read it out and just bore everyone to death. The thing is, you need to have them open to the earth so the rain will come through and it's connected to the ground. You want all that water and moisture going through down into the earth and feeding the subsoil down below. And what happens is that'll bring the earthworms up into that system. They'll also breed around the bottom of that system, the earthworms, lay their cocoons, work on the subsoil down below, and all that moisture that's going down through the system will then go out into the ground and heal the land around it, right? And that what that will do is bring in the microbiology and the fungi and all that type of stuff. Then you can plant gardens around the bottom, which is really awesome, right? If you can plant a garden around the bottom of a worm farm and it's connected and you're not buying any fertilizers and things like that, look, I think it's just a win-win and you can't really go wrong. You do need to have a lid on them from time to time just to sort of maybe keep something out or to trap some heat in there, do whatever you want, but you need to have airflow. So that was really one of the other questions about airflow. I do have a video and I'll leave it up here in the links about how I built the system. I think it's one of the original ones a bit over a year ago. And yeah, you need to drill some holes around the top and around the side. So check out that video if you're interested. And the rest of the question is, so connecting them to the earth and then how do they work? Well, I think I pretty much explained that by opening them up and connecting to the earth, that's how they work. And what we do is we feed the worms in the top layer and then we can actually pull the whole bin up if we want to and just get our shovel in and just take the whole lot away. Or we can just shovel out bits of castings and compost over time and use it and spread it around the garden. You never even have to move it if you don't want to, but they are portable at the same time and then you can walk around and feed your garden. So connect it to your garden is really, really important. Now I've got my list here. I want to make sure I'm going through the right things. Okay, vermin. Vermin was something else that I saw people writing about and talking about in there. Now, if you've got it close to the house or an area where you might have some mice or rat problems or things that are going to dig underneath and get underneath, you might want to put some type of wire mesh down below there or something that doesn't rot or, or rust away too quickly. Just try to avoid plastics. That's what we're trying to do this day and age unless these plastic systems are going to be used for years and years and don't go out into the landfills quickly. So look at that option and uh, look, if you've got them out in the open, like I do, you really don't have vermin problems. Depends on what you're feeding the system as well, then you won't have vermin problems. So usually cow manures and things like that are no problem at all. Now, if you want to warm them up, you can use things like coffee grounds and cow manure, chicken manure, stuff like that for feeding the system. Just be careful we don't overdo it because that stuff's highly nitrogenous. Nitrogenous. Is that a word? Let me know in the comments box down below. <laughs> That's cool though. And 
it can let out gas. And that's one reason why we have the holes in the worm farm, because depending on what we're feeding on it, there's certain gases coming off it and stuff. And I killed some of mine in one of my first original ones by being lazy and not putting holes. And I just didn't think that the, com I thought the compost was finished. Obviously it hadn't and it got gassy and I was away for a week and I lost thousands. It was really, really sad. So yeah, have nice holes in the, in the worm farms and they'll do really good. Right, so I'll check the next part of the list here. They're self-fertilizing, which is unreal. Fills the microbes up. Uh, and I've got I've pretty much answered everything. So if you like these type of videos where I go in and answer your question, guys, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments box down below. I really want to build community and establish something here that's not really found on YouTube. It's not all about just creating the ultimate video where it gets sort of like these massive runs of numbers and things. It's about connecting with you guys and getting the education out there as well. So if you're digging that, give us a push rain to a thumbs up and I'll see you at the next video real soon. I'm daily vlogging at the moment. Bye for now. Hey, don't forget to check all the links in the description and around this video. Plenty more content for you to devour.